Morning everyone and welcome in this one hour live trading webinar on Wednesday 28th of June. Today there is not so much news so we will trade Euro USD, Odd USD, USD GPY and we will take one minute trades. Let's start. One good level that we have on USD GPY is a support and this is where we want to take a call. It can be one minute or five minutes. So it is on my MT4 at 100. So as you can see my blue line was my resistance and uh, on one minute on USD GPY it break it first time and now it retouch again and if it breaks this line will not anymore be valid so we wait a little and I will delete if it uh, breaks again because if we count the bounce we have one bounce two bounce three bounce one break one bounce so four bounce four bounce two break and this one is uh, 30 seconds to go so one, two, three, four, five. It will be six two. Six two. It's around seventy percent. It's okay. But if it breaks now, it's it's gone. So I will not trade it anymore. Okay, good level. So it means if the price come back at this level, we will take a put for one minute and maybe five minutes. It's possible also. But we must wait. 10 to 20 candle before the price reached this level because if not it might be too close and uh, and it might break it and continue to go up since we can see on the one minute chart we are in an uptrend with bigger candle going up by odd usd so i have a signal on odd usd it was a fibonacci but a lot of time touch and the last time was only 14 candles so I will not take it my next level for odd USD will be my 50 Fibonacci which is exactly here and it's also a good support and resistance in the past in this chart as we can see the probability are very good so I will place my alert a little below so odd USD on my MD4 it's 0.75980 and on the empty f on the IQ option sorry yeah it's exactly here right here so 0 0.75.9892 for my next level for coal yep this one no need for now and while I am on odd USD There is a good level of support and resistance also there. In the middle, something like that, yeah. And the level on IQ for AudioSD for a put on one minute is 0 0.76, 0 0.786. Yep, so let me fix my alert. Oh, this level is good. Yeah it's exactly this first blue line from where the price is and I want to take a put when the price will be above this line same rules and you can take one minute and five minutes to put yourself in little more security and there is also a Fibonacci 23 that might also attract the price and it's 76.075 on my MT4 Yeah, but after the webinar I will post uh, setup for 15 minutes and uh, no 30 30 minutes and 5 minutes. 
so it will be easier for the member of binary viewing way to take. So I will give my setup like I do every day. This is only one minute to have a little more opportunity during one hour and we follow the rules. If we have two out of the money we stop for the day and uh, maybe we can take three to four signal during this session. Okay, okay, okay. So AudioSD it's ready to take. Then we go on EuroUSD. Oh, EuroUSD is a good level now. Can be one minute put when it's above my yellow line. So EuroUSD expiration right after this one. Oh, there is a round number here. Yeah, my yellow line is not touched, so I will not take it yet. But as you can see on IQ, you can see clearly it's a round number one point thirteen. 53 and this round number will might have enough power to reject for one minute but this sign is also good for my level because it's a deceleration of the price the price was very strong going up and now it decelerates so it means there is some weakness uh, reaching this level so for us it can be good for one minute rejection Maybe it will not reach. Or if it reach for the first touch, it might be a quick one. Maybe there will be a lot of order flow ready to take it. Sell Euro USD. See, very fast going up. Nearly touch the level. But a little complicated to take it correctly. Continue to go up. Remember when I post a line, we must enter above if it's a put and below if it's a call to put ourselves in a little more security. We'll adjust my line a little below. Still good probability, yeah it touch. So this is a candle confirmation and it might be good to take a put for uh, 5 minutes at the end of the candle. But I will wait a little retouch of my level and I change my expiration to 5 minutes right now this strong white candle going down is a good sign for 5 minute put but on my own style I prefer to take you know the best SR so what can we see here our blue line that has been broken can give us a good opportunity for a call this time. So the SR is 1.13500, round number or so. Let's see on IQ if the SR is the same. The big candle shows us that it's a good resistance. Oh no, there is a little spread on IQ, so the level is not exactly the same. Let me see that. 5025. 113, 5025. This is our level for call one minute maybe a little above actually yeah so it's 5037 for call 1.13.50.37 for euro usd it will be a call at this level so what happened right now in this one so this white candle means the power is little inversing but this blue candle is some kind of cancellation of this white one because it's as big as this one and it retouch our level so when this configuration happen there is only three candles separating the first 
it's better to stay away because we uh, we still have a good strength going up with these three big candle, four candles going up right now and uh, this movement hasn't been sustained going in the opposite direction so maybe it will break it and um, and we don't want to put ourselves in our in this kind of configuration it's too risky the first touch for one minute would have been safe but we missed it because it was a little below and the second touch is not the right point to enter and now big white candle but rejected little fast take a trade there but might go down from from it and if it goes down from it we will have another opportunity for a call at my yellow arrow here so your usd is ready let me see what say this level yeah strong one come back to one minute uh, so okay odd usd odd usd ranging no movement and usd gpy okay usd gpy well reacted here and well reacted the 38.2 fibonacci exactly so as i said what we wait for a call is the yellow line downstairs so one 112 and for a put uh, we need to wait a little five more candle to be a little more in security if it comes back to this blue line 112 124 in three to four minutes we we can take it for one minute put if it come at this level nearly sell usd yen Euro USD is a level 113.529 is a strong level and if we can take it maybe in the future if we wait about 15 minutes before it comes back to this level it will be one minute to put at this one But like I said, not now. We need to wait a minimum of candlestick. Why is that? Because if the price come back too soon, uh, people don't have any any sufficient time to put their stop loss and uh, pending order at this level, and it will create nearly, uh, not nearly, but less reaction. When we wait a significant number of candles, for example, if we talk about one minute. Uh, chart we will wait 15 minutes before we take again the same level so in 15 minutes the people who trade on the one minute time frame will will have a sufficient time to place their order at this level which will create a little reaction that's what we expect for binary option and for this specific strategy and if we look about five minutes same applies if we trade a five minute rejection we want to to wait 15 candle before the price came back again to this level to give the trader of the five minute time frame sufficient time to put their their stop loss and so on and pending order and it works on every time frame if the price come back within five to ten candle it means there is a good strength against the level and it might break it so USDN can be taken for a put on one minute when the price is just above our line it's 15 candle it should be good so USBN sell USD yen. So I take it for uh, too late. Delay on IQ. I hope you get a good entry. It was at the right level. Sell USD yen. So let's see what happened. Our next level is above. Yeah, danger of this. Should 
If you get above the white line, it should be a good entry. Should have been mine actually. Okay, Jim, well done. Let's hope for it to stay down now. So this is a good example about... Um, uh, yeah, so as I said, the one minute is a little tricky to enter your trade, but you will find a lot more opportunities, so it can be faster to find your setup and all that, but it asks a little more concentration and so... Okay, good. It's a winning one for me, and I believe everyone is winning for this one. Cool one. Perfect. So, this was a winning trade. So, here is an, an example of what I do. I will put my chart this way, because as you know, I am a preacher of the trading journal. So I do that, and I put on my chart, for example, put one minute as this label. And if I don't want to take my screenshot right now, I will take my screenshot later on. But at least my trade is here, I know where I entered exactly here, and it was a winning one, and so on. So when you do that, you will take a screenshot, and I consider this tool. So you take exactly the place that you want, and after you go in your trading journal, so this is a signal, whatever, and we go here, and for me, I make, uh, don't put one minute, Euro USD, and it's in the money, and I place my chart here. If it's a losing one, I go in the losing trade, so this is my yesterday chat but this one for example tech and I will do the same and the most important part is to look at your chat when it's done and if it's a winning you can you can watch it and say okay it was a good setup I placed my trade correctly but me for example I say I can say uh, problem in the execution of my trade with IQ and a little delay and I will have more information to analyze in the future what I mean with that is if, is if you place sufficient attention to each of your trades, you will be able to know why you lose some trades and why you win some others, and it will make your self-improvement better. Because whatever strategy you use, the human factor is the most difficult and you need to control your emotion, and this is what we aim to do with the trading journal. Every professional trader that I know use a trading journal every successful. So it might uh, seem a little fastidious but uh, it's very important too. This is the best book of your life, your own trading journal. Actually you don't need to read any books about trading, you just need to hold your journal and put your intellect into understanding why you win some trades, why you lose some trades. Of course, you have to learn the fundamental about support and resistance, maybe Fibonacci, maybe a little price action to recognize the power of the candle and so on, but the most important is your own reflection on all your trades. So, good one. So, me, I achieved my goal for the day. I have two in the money. Let's try to find another setup for you. <laughs> so Euro USD. Oh yeah, our trade was not. Uh, it was USD GPY. So Euro USD reverse, but a little above my blue line. So same apply. If the price reverse a little above or below your line, your strike rate, you have to wait a minimum of 15 candle. If you are in one minute of whatever time frame it is, uh, to take this kind of exploration. So if you want to take one minute call on this line, 
Uh, now the price a little made a trick to you and it reverses just before so you just have to wait 15 minutes if it comes back within these 15 minutes you don't take the trade and this principle as I said is quite simple is you want to attract to your level the more order flow that is possible and to attract the more order flow the first touch is always the, the more powerful if the price breaks the most powerful first touch it means it's too strong for you and you will wait for another level but quite far away from this one look at what happened we have three blue candles going up and one white candle wipe out the three just before so this is a clear sign of strength in the downside direction so you don't take that <coughs> you are against the strength if you do it so no so for this example on euro usd me i will take aside of this blue line i will take this one which is better for me if it continue and if it breaks it and if it breaks the little pullback that will come back to this line can be a good opportunity for a put here is it when it will have break this one if it succeed to do it but for now we see when the price come down is more powerful when the price go up is weak so if it continue like that it might break it we can be not sure but have a good sign that the price will go and reverse up when we will see Bye. the opposite Euro of that USD. sorry for that when we see the opposite of that I mean we we want to see to take a call some kind of uh, weak candle going down so little body with weak white one and we want to see bigger blue candle going up this will be where we will take a, a call so for this moment at this specific chart we want to take a put and maybe this one would have been a good opportunity because we see an acceleration and this is a climax of the acceleration and after we have a good reversal here so our entry point would have been this resistance right here which is quite a good one price touch once twice reject after break with big candle which is a good sign of support that becomes a resistance right here and we are according to the strength of the market at this specific moment and even when we look at the biggest blue candle going up one white candle is able to to make the length of two yeah two blue candles that were going up in the previous movement so this is a good indication that this movement is kind of a false breakout up and will continue to go down and stay in this range for some times and especially now it's um, on GMT time let me see it's 4 hour 50 so we are two hours before the end of the Sydney session and the opening of German open and this is a very low volume low volume session hello Richard Richard French name <laughs> so as I said my n our next level on Euro USD is 113476 on MetaTrader on Euro USD IQ. Let me zoom out a little. It is a one thirteen forty eight twenty one. But yeah, w which is good with IQ, uh, which uh, I like. It is you can see more precisely the round number. Because if you go on MetaTrader, if I put the grid, for example, it's like complicated to read and for the eyes it's a it's a pain in the ass so i will suppress the grid and on iq it's way 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 more beautiful to see to spot this level so as you can see there is a round number here which is 113802 oh i don't like this big candle big candle like that means insiders or being investor investors make move when they make a move you don't go against them a perfect configuration will be something like this movement big candle and after stopped with deceleration of the price like this one this one this one this one and after what happens the price reverse with bigger candle but if you see a very huge candle like that dangerous but it has been stopped by the round number 113.49 
So the next is 48. Yep. Also, something interesting about that. You know, and I teach about round numbers, like for example this one, 113, 53. And if we look closer, most of the time, when we have, for example, uh, 50 to 80, which is this level, is also a very good um, level for bounce before the price touches the round number. So the round number is something that will attract the price because a lot of people will place order at it. Odd USD. It's a psychological level, so odd USD. Okay, come closer to our line. So our line is this one. Sorry, tack this one, the blue here. Maybe I can put it in yellow so it's more easy to spot. And it's uh, 0 0.75, 980. Yeah, this is the point I wanted to say. The round number is 7576. Uh, this is the round number, and as you can see, the price is attracted to it and has a gravitation to it. But what happened just before? 75.98 so 20 micro pips below the price is also stopped and it creates a very good uh, support and resistance zone this is what we want to get now the price is at the round number so if it's a first touch for a long time we have one good chance of reversal that's Bye. what happened okay your usd yeah, it's too big for me uh, don't Euro USD. don't take the Euro USD. I don't feel it very well. Why? Because there is a pattern that say it might continue. Very big candle at first, so a little deceleration, but creating a doji, and this doji is widely broken here by this candle, so it's a sign of continuation of this movement. So what is the next level? The next level is 11.4, right here. Yeah, see what happened? It breaks it. Or might reverse just below my blue line. Which is the extreme level. Yeah, this doji is a good sign. But it might be only a little, a little rejection. So, our extreme level, 15 seconds, mm, I don't think it will work for this one. So, let's see, oh, on 5 minute chart it's a good level, so maybe, pff, no, it break it. It was wise to not take it. So, this is a 5 minute good support and resistance, but we have a good one, blue just below. Maybe a little more like that. So, let's see on the chart what happened. Yeah, so our level is better 113, 435. This is our level. Yeah, and this support seems to be broken very strong momentum on this one very steep angle and um, so my level for euro usd will be as high as this one if the price make a significant movement going down i might take this line but in the in 15 minutes from now not right now And my next level for a call is this one. So, yeah, and as you can see, it's near round number 113.44. And it was a good resistance in the past. Yes.
so let's look what happened here yeah it's a clear breakout so we have a strong Fibonacci level let's look if it rejects for this one yeah this one act a little like a support the 11.4 Fibonacci is not one of the strongest because it's very close for the from the extreme top or bottom whatever whatever way is the trend going up or going down so strongest level are more likely to be 23 38 for the first touch yeah very strong going down so yesterday it makes a very good movement going up and now the strain is a little inversing going down Yeah, quite good. So if we analyze this line, this blue here, I will take it in the fit manage. As I said, some candle to come back. We have one, two, three, four, five bounce, six, no, five bounce, one break, and one bounce. So it's six bounce and one break on this chart. So it means 150 candle. So this line is quite good. But what I want to see to take this line is the price that go a little lower and make a significant distance from this line to give people sufficient time to put an order. And after when the price come back here, I will take a put here. But not before. So this is for Euro USD. Okay, let's move a little. So odd odd USD. We have a good level Fibonacci, thirty-eight point two. But it already broken the previous here, so not so much. Three, four, five. Sell Euro USD. Now it's too soon. The last time it left this zone was only three candles ago. So not for me this one. So what USD? Nothing very interesting for now breaks down of course but uh, movement a little shaky on five Sell Euro USD. yeah it's too soon I don't take it so tick 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 odd USD five minute chart yeah this level is, is a good one on audio is 076 0 66 or even 60 60 round number and the price didn't manage to break it for the previous movement 76 0 60 yeah don't worry I will post more setup after the webinar 30 minutes straight and uh, Five minutes or so. Yeah, still this one. So it's seventy six sixty. Yeah, on IQ it's seventy six sixty nine. We have one one pip difference actually. So below. Yep, right here. 
but it's still far and this candle wipe out everything so it might go down So odd USD, we still have our 50 Fibonacci confluent with support and resistance. So we'll be a good level for one minute call. And this yellow line. There is a round number just before 76. Yeah, you didn't see that. Yeah, we have a spread of five, five micro pips between MT4 and IQ. So we wait our level 980 at the end for odd USD for a call one minute. What says USD GPY? Our resistance here transform into support. What says a five minute chart? Five minutes not very clear. The Fibonacci seems to be a better level. Twenty three point six Fibonacci is a good level. It will be maybe for five minutes better. Yeah. Yep. And our blue line just below will be for one minute here. It's a round number, one hundred twelve, two hundred. Should work well. On USD GPY. Or the USD reacted well at the round number 76 exactly. Okay, so USD GPY, it's a round number also. It will be one minute put. What says the price to us? The price says there was big one minute candle going up and now the candle are a little more weaker. Expiration. Still strong but less strong that at the get out of the range. But I met my goal so I will not take it. But for you, it's a good one. Be ready. When the price is just above 200, you take a put for one minute. Right here. So, expiration will be uh, attack, uh, 10. 5, 10 GMT. If it touch. No, now it will be 5.11. But the deceleration of the price right here with more little candles than previously is a good sign. Just assure that your entry is just a little above the 200 as a round number. To make all the odds in your favor. Yes, yes, 200 is the right level. especially from the previous price action quite near. If the price doesn't take a decision going up or down, in the next minute I will consider it like a ranging zone and when it's ranging it's accumulating some power, so I will not take this level anymore. So now right expiration is 14, so be ready, just above my white line you enter for one minute put, sorry one minute, the end of the 14 candle. the end of the 13 candle, not 14. 
now put I hope someone get in it was very fast So now expiration is in one minute exactly. Yeah, we have a difference on MetaTrader. This is not good. Don't like that too much. Yeah, because here it looks like a second touch. Yeah, sorry for that. Maybe the point of entry, but it's a good level because the price rejects here, so it might be a winning one. But the best is a little above. Yeah. Usually I stay on my MD4, I should have did that. 30 seconds to go. Your entry point should have been at the extreme here. Sell USD in. 14 seconds, it would be a tight one. Or oh, maybe tie. Your expiration is 15? <laughs> but you might win. <laughs> I wish you. So it touched like here, so the best level was 200, exactly 210, and it finished at 200, yeah, 1999. So okay, so the SR is a winning one actually. Above 200, it's a winning one for this one. Yeah, well done. What's your real result? <laughs> you, you didn't get an out of the money, right? You place two trade or one trade? <laughs> okay, so result is two in the money for now. Okay, cool. So everyone win. So it's two win for today. Cool. <laughs> you can close shop and enjoy your family now. <laughs> so two in the money for now. Good, good. So only win. <laughs> nice first name. <laughs> Made for success. And the gym. So just for info, I don't take all the trade because I respect my plan for the millionaire project, which is when we make two in the money for the day, we stop because our goal is met. Or maybe we play only with the remaining additional money. And on the long run, this is the most efficient. And when we get two out of the money to make it average we stop for the day there is two in the money for now so now price is ranging so for USD GPY it's so so why is that? I will explain to you a little in, in depth because as you can see this is a ranging zone right here quite regular it means for six, six candles now the price is ranging and when the price might break up this zone will act, which is a resistance right now, will act as a support. So if I draw it, let's say this is our zone right here. So it creates our resistance. This is what I call an horizontal congestion zone. So when the price might get up, what will happen is this resistance will transform into support. And since our level is here, when the price will come back here, it will be rejected a little in this direction. So, since our level is very near to this ranging zone, we will not take a put because it will be against the strength of this ranging zone right here. So now this setup is gone. We will wait for the price to have a little more space to move, which means this line will be deleted and I will take only my next Fibonacci level confluent with support and resistance which will make a good opportunity for one minute to put right right here not not this one anymore this one is broken now because of the strength of this level Tech. you're welcome Jim one of my best students. 
If you want to learn a little more in depth about uh, the complete strategies that I use that works on every time frame, 1 minute, 5 minute, 15 minutes, 1 hour, end of the day, whatever you feel like, and teach you strong basis about price action also, we will stop for the day since there is 1 hour and I will publish my my setup for 5 minutes and uh, 15 minutes uh, on the wall for you to be able to trade a little more for today. Have a nice day and see you next uh, next Wednesday for GMT, like uh, usually. Bye everyone!